actually decreases anaphylaxic responses, which is crazy, which means it's actually probably helping modulate the immune system in one way or another. All right, last but not least are the growth hormone analogs. You know, and again, that might be wondering, like, why is Dr. Mo, he's talking about the gut healing, now growth hormone. Well, why growth hormone? Okay, well, before I get too far, I always kind of want to re-elaborate. There's two form of these analogs. We have the growth hormone releasing hormones, smorelin, tessamorelin, uh, CJC1295, and then we have the growth, growth hormone releasing peptides. And the difference is the way that they hit on different receptors in the brain. You basically have two different receptors. They hit different ones. And so they do act slightly different. The GHRPs are hitting the growth hormone secretagogue receptor, which is the ghrelin receptor. Um, that basically tells your body to be hungry. And that's why the GHRP6, amphimorelin, MK677, um, not much with Amparone, but MK677 and GHRP6, people do have a tendency to get hungry. So again, devil's in the details. Depends on what's going on. If you're sick, maybe it's a good idea and you're trying to eat some more food. So maybe a GHRP could help you in that way. Um, but again, two different type of molecules here. I personally like to stack the CJC1295 and Amparone together. Again, that's another conversation. But again, why growth hormone analogs? Well, the the... Growth hormone actually tells the body to increase the white blood cell count, and it helps actually modulate our cytokines. Um, there's a reason when people are fasting that the immune system gets boosted in that state as well. Um, so again, growth hormone analogs increase growth hormone. Growth hormone is going to increase our white blood cells and our cytokines. And a lot of these uh, growth hormone analogs help us get uh, better and deeper sleep. Well, when's the immune system the strongest? When's it cleaning it out of the gunk? Nothing, nothing's really one of the most important things ever for your immune system is to get good amounts of sleep. I included here Tessamorelin Egrifta. It's an FDA cleared and certified uh, drug. Uh, and here are some of the benefits with the trigs, the visceral fat. Um, it's been shown to help with the carotid intima media, decreasing it and help lower uh, CRP. And the dose depends. MK677 is like 12 to 25 milligrams. It's oral. Amphimorelin CJ1295. You can do 100 to 200 mics a night and evening. Um, so it really depends. A lot of these have a pretty minimal side effect profile. The GHRP6, the, the Samorelin. You have to watch out for prolactin, cortisol, and thyroid stuff. So those are my four peptides that I like that help optimize the immune system. Um, let me know what you guys think if you have other peptides that maybe I should have talked about here today. Uh, if you have a friend that likes peptides, maybe share this video with them. And if you like peptides, go ahead and hit the uh, subscribe button, stick around. And I look forward to seeing you guys all again. Stay fit and healthy and safe, my friends. All right, till next time. Dr. Mo signing out.